Hi, my name is Beth Purdue, and for this presentation, I chose the article um, written by Laurel Thatcher Ulrich, and it is called John Winthrop City of Women. Now, it was an interesting article, and it definitely brought about some ideas and things that I had not known, not thought about before, and um, actually... Um, you know, I had some pretty strong thoughts about it. Um, now, John Winthrop's journals, you can read them. They are everywhere, and they are pretty interesting. There's there's some day-to-day -day mundane sort of things, but there's also some pretty interesting life and death stories, um, some things that in this particular article, she discusses not only the women, but his ideas and his thoughts about these particular women. For instance, Anne Hutchinson, he looked at her as a religious dissenter, somebody who was stirring up trouble, causing problems. Um, she was someone who was um, pulling others away from the Puritan ideas and Puritan thoughts, and that was just not acceptable to John Winthrop. He was, he was someone who looked at religious dissension as a very high sin. Um, now, in, in, his, in this particular article and in his discussions, he speaks about these particular women. And some of the things that he brought up so far as um, his discussion of, of Anne Hutchinson and how she reacted and acted um, was interesting. He talks about her as being not just this religious dissenter. He didn't really call her that necessarily. He called her this bold person, but he didn't use it in a good term. She was bold. She was outspoken. She had not only her own ideas, but what she thought God had given to her. And this was just not not something he thought was normal. Um, she was also a midwife. And it, what's interesting about this article is it does speak a lot about the ideas that they had back then, and more specifically John Winthrop, with regards to um, child rearing, um, child bearing, and how he believed that these women's sin, um, more specifically of their religious dissension sin, was bore in their body. So whether they had children who were horribly disfigured or children who were um, uh, stillborn or miscarried, he looked at that as a, re as a result of their sin, uh, which is interesting because a lot of people lost children back then, and um, you know it's it's interesting that he came to the idea that religiously speaking, that these women were bearing the fruit of their own sin because their children had died. Um, Anne Hutchinson was a midwife, and she was there um, and administering um, help with having the child, but also back then, what was a normal custom was this healing. Um, and it was the use of medicines and different things that they had available back then. And sometimes that was carried to the extreme and people thought it was witchcraft. And other times it was, it was a help in some ways. Um, now, Ann Hutchinson um, had her share of problems when it came to having a child. Um, he does point that out. Um, he also points out the fact that she was present when children were stillborn, when children who were born that were um, disfigured. Um, so he points these out and he, he, he makes this into this thing of um, these women are bearing the fruit of their own sin. He has very strong ideas of what godly men and godly women should be. And in this particular article, um, she discusses that. And she discusses, I find interesting, after he talks about in his journals um, how how a man should treat a woman and how he should take care of her and she's the weaker sex and all of that. Um, that on one particular day when he goes into a um, someone else's home who's not home and then um, a woman comes to the door, he doesn't let her in and it's cold outside. And in my mind, I guess if he was living up to the ideals that he thought men should be, then he should go out and the woman should come in. But, you know. Um, he was an interesting person. Here's a picture of him. You can see he's his proper English gentleman here. And um, he was wearing his English outfit and being very proper. And something that he expected the women of the colonies to be as well is proper and the men to be those gentlemen that they should have been. Um, something from England that came over from England with them. Now, um, he also... This, uh, this particular article just kind of gives me this idea of um, 
this super, and from reading his journals, this super um, ultra um, conservativeness, but conservative not in a really good way. Um, conservative in the fact that if if you sin, um, I mean, if you, if you have something bad happen to you, then it is a result of your sin and something horrible that you've done. Um, and he uses this over and over again. And he does, um, to his credit, he does come down very harshly on some men who um, did bad things and were not the people that they should be. And he did come down very harshly on that. And I think with her whole article, she's really just touching on uh, mainly the women, although a couple of men were discussed, but mainly the women and how his reaction to these women, these women who stuck out who made a difference in the community, but made a difference not according to how he thought the difference could, could have been. Um, so it was a really interesting article. If you get a chance, you ought to read it.